If there's one city in Mexico that you should not miss, it is definitely Oaxaca. It is a melting pot of most diverse tribes and has eight different microclimates, making it the hub of gastronomy. In this video, we take you through our top eight experiences in this region. We have made it to our destination for today. We are taking an Ali Brihe's workshop where we're going to be learning how they're made, what the process is behind bringing these mythical creatures to life. We're going to be learning from one of the best artists in the world actually because these guys are the ones that trained Pixar when they were shooting the movie Coco on how to create and bring in Ali Brihe's into that movie. Um, if you guys haven't watched Coco, you must highly do it. And the character in there, the dog, Dante, the spirit animal, is actually an alibrije. I quickly wanted to tell you about what alibrijes are. They are mythical characters created in Mexico, but they were created back in 1930s. This artist named Pedro Linares had a dream about these crazy animals that were a combination of different characters, so like a flying donkey or a giant butterfly. And he woke up and started sketching them, and that's when he got attention of Vida Kahlo. And there was a workshop back in 1980s. When he sketched them, they started carving them in Oaxaca originally for the first time. Did anybody else catch the fact that Sim says donkey, donkey? Or was it just me? Hola. Welcome, my friends. Welcome <laughs> to my house. Efraín Fuentes. And she is my wife, Silvia. Silvia. Hola. Hola. The kind of wood, copal. Copal is the name, the wood is very soft. The tools we carry is a machete, is a heavy and a light. My chisels. Chisel. The, the face, this is the face, this is the mouth, the ear, all the hand. Temporal. One week maybe, this piece for, for Phoenix, only car. Okay. Next, uh, I need to put in the sun for to dry. For, mm -hmm. Uh, one month to uh, dry to sand put. It. I have to sand it. Yeah. The primer. Yes. Yeah. Uh, maybe three, three times. Three times. Yeah, yeah. What a stunning place this is. Like to have been able to keep this up for three generations. That just shows the dedication to the craft these guys have. Now we're picking out two of our own alibrijes that we're gonna paint out today. I'm nervous because my painting skills are not the sharpest. <laughs> And this looks like very detailed and very painting and very patient work. So let's see how mine turns out. I know Sims is, Sims is gonna do good because she's talented, talented lady. Like painting me though. Well, let's get into it. Everest, what are you gonna paint, buddy? So we can pick one of these, huh? Yes, pick one of them to paint. So you can stick to the cameraman, I think. Okay. The turtle. Turtle. Conejo. And conejo. Conejo. And the de los demás. See? So you use your pinky to support your brush. Okay. How's it going? This flower is made by her. <laughs> it is so perfect. Yeah, perfect. why is yours just plus signs? My <laughs> mind is like different flower, every shape is different. Okay. She's I like how she's like gauged me. She's like, this guy needs easy shapes. So now she's giving me just this dot. I've never been so scared of doing a circle. I'll status update on my alibrije, Tortuga. Okay. My... Ah. See? Si? <laughs> That's our conejo. <laughs> Amigos. Amigos. <laughs> painting, officially painting Tupac. He's gonna be with us. We still haven't told you guys 
about Tupac or who he is. That's a story for But that is a story for another day. The coolest bunny ever to have lived and is still living the most gangster bunny that we had. Same? Same? <laughs> She's like, I have to fix something first. <laughs> something is really off. Tortuga is coming into place. He's opened his eyes now. It's ready to fly. Is yours ready to hop yet? Well, that was the end of a beautiful workshop. We had so much fun. They were so patient, so kind. At the end, she packed everything, the alibrihis we made and a bunch of other uh, alibrihis we got for gifts in this beautiful little bag. Look how cute it is. And it was, I think, one of the highlights of our entire Mexico trip, this workshop was. Definitely support these uh, artists. They are really talented and these two especially. So they are uh, very well known, but they're not on Airbnb experiences. So definitely contact them on their Instagram. We'll link it in our profile. And come here whenever you're in Oaxaca. We're headed to Mercado 20 November, which translates to 20th of November. And it's one of the biggest open markets in uh, Oaxaca. You're gonna find a lot of different things in there, but mostly we're gonna be looking for some food to eat because we have not had anything since this morning. So let's go check it out. One thing you notice as soon as you come into this market is the various smells and textures that are all around. It's pretty much a sensory overload as soon as you hear. Visually and smelly wise? How do you say? How do you say smell sensor? <laughs> smelly wise? Visually and smellily. Smellily. And texturally. Aromatically. It's, aromatically, it's insane. There is an abundance of street food in this market. Make sure you do not leave without trying the carne asada. There is a whole alleyway of smoked meat in this market. The talayudas, the mamelas, the Oaxacan tamales, chapulinis, chilaquiles and something up there. We found ourselves in a wild food market. I mean, this is something that I don't think I've ever seen before. I think we have to find ourselves some breakfast now. I've had two coffees and had nothing to eat so far, so I'm gonna walk around and see what I can eat. It's a very traditional and festive dish that they have here where you dip the chocolate milk. After all the food at the market, you're going to want to walk around this colorful town. And if you're lucky, you might even get to be part of a Oaxacan wedding barat.
We made a quick pit stop at our campsite which is located slightly out of town just so that we could change and come back for dinner and drinks. This restaurant called Escapulario. Escapulario, it's known for its uh, mole. Mole is an authentic dish from Oaxaca. And let me show you what it looks like. The idea behind coming to this specific spot was the fact that you can get a tasting menu of all the seven different types of mole. So far, I've only had one in Mexico City and in Puebla. Menu right now shows one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 types of mole. Oh, smokes. So there's even more than seven? I thought there's only seven. The tasting menu, you can pick and choose five of those mole. Okay. And it comes with three types of rice, a refreshing drink, and a mezcal or a beer on the house. So. Sweet. So hungry and so excited. Mouth is watering. Gracias. Incredible. Oh my god. I thought you didn't like mole. But I've only had the chocolate one and that's so confusing to me. Because me for me chocolate is a dessert. So mentally it doesn't work for me. But this mole has really Indian flavors. This one is extremely spicy. This one is also very Indian. I'm in heaven. This was a great successful stop. The moles were phenomenal. 100% recommend this place to anyone who's coming to Oaxaca. Next stop is our favorite drink in entire Mexico. It's called pulque. No fruta rojo, Vita Bell, natural campus chill. The next morning, we rented a taxi to explore Hirve El Agua. Hirve is one of the only two petrified waterfalls in the world. The roads to get here are incredibly bumpy, so the brown man was better off left behind at the campsite. Our guide explained petrified waterfalls to us in the simplest way. He said they're like a pressurized beer bottle where the mineral water from under the earth spilling over the edge of the mountain, trickling down over thousands of years, creates large stalactites like structures along the face of the rock, giving it an impression of a petrified waterfall. Right now we're at the top of the petrified waterfalls and the views are just amazing. Our next stop is a short one hour drive from Hirve to the ancient village of Mitla. <laughs> Your new homies Everest. <laughs> new amigos. Say it, say it. Hey. Sit, 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 sit. sit, 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 sit. <laughs> good boy, good boy. Okay, we'll see you soon. We are right now in Mitla. It's one of the oldest archaeological site in Oaxaca. It's in the most important site for the Zapotec people. This here is Temple of the Underworld, the Temple of Place of Dead. They come back here if people have died. It's different from anywhere else in Mexico because of the, the patterns, geometrical patterns and shape. It's very unique to this ruin. Either they had really long legs, like all the stairs in these sites are so steep. These are all monoliths, single pieces of rocks extracted from the surrounding mountain ranges and then they had to drag it here. This was used as a center of, of course, religious purposes. At the same time, it was used for administrative purposes. So like you could host like a court or like judgment or something like that. ¿Cómo se llama? Eh, jicama, jicaleta. 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 
Y pues en, la, en lo que es la, la lona para que sí, y en inglés y en piquín. Este es tajín, ¿Tajín? chamoy, sí. dulce, dulce, es Miguelito, tamarindo dulce. ¿Qué le preparamos, amiga? Una jitaleta, una michescuera, una michelada. ¿Qué le preparamos? ¡Wow! Mm. ¡Wow! Good snack. And we're going to try the seasonal vegetable called hikama, which they use in ofrendas as a gift in Day of the Dead. And they put a bunch of tahini, tamarind. So good. Mmm. That was good too. Mm. We're doing a tour of this town called Piotisla de Valle. Just experienced my favorite process ever, which is chocolate making. The best part about this chocolate was there's no milk, so it's just raw cacao and sugar, and it's so 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 delicious. Everest, you cannot. <laughs> Gracias. Oh, we are going to see the magic rugs. Basically, they are the local artisanal rugs. Speciality is all the dyes used here are natural. And they're made of this beetle looking bug. Uh, the blood is red, but if you put more ingredients in the blood, it changes color. No es sangre. Viene siendo el color que ellos absorben. A tonos rojos, naranjas. So, this bowl right here is going to be the base for 150 different varieties of colors. Limestone. A tonos dorados, magentas, lilas. From using the wool of the sheep in their backyard to creating the thread and dyeing it with natural colors, weaving every single thread to make beautiful designs on these rugs can take up to a month to complete. They're truly a labor of love that is worth every single penny. Really hope you enjoyed this lovely recap of our favorite city, Oaxaca. Make sure to subscribe, leave us a feedback, and check us out for daily updates on Instagram.